I did not brush my hair today, but it's fine. There's just too much. I'll get it. Hi everyone, this week I have a really big announcement. I hit a huge milestone. I now have five subscribers, which is incredible. That fifth subscriber may or may not have been one of the other Gmail accounts that I created to get new member deals. We don't know, but what we do know is last week I had four subscribers. Less than seven days later, the number of subscribers I had increased by 25%. So in honor of this momentous occasion, I dropped out of college to pursue my dream career of being a full-time YouTuber. And now that I am no longer a student, I will have so much time to plan videos, edit videos, make content for everyone, all five of you. So make sure if you're not subscribed already, like, comment, subscribe so you can maybe be number six. Think about how exciting that is. Sixth subscriber ever. If you're not convinced that this is going to be a really exciting channel, then let me give you a sneak preview. These are some of the ideas that I have coming up. Because college videos are my most watched videos at the moment, and they're super trendy on YouTube right now, I'm going to keep making college videos, even though I'm not a student anymore, just because they're really interesting and I'm still living here because I've already paid rent for the rest of the school year. So I'm just gonna hang out on campus, do some days in my life as a college student, but not really because I dropped out of college. So it's gonna be really interesting. I'm thinking maybe some dorm tours, apartment tours, campus tours, maybe interviews with professors, all the college stuff you can think of. And I'm already giving way too much. So you should just subscribe and hit the notification button or bell or whatever it's called I, I don't really know because it's gonna be a lit time but in all seriousness I actually did drop out of college and this is my story transition I didn't know this until I was maybe a junior in high school, but most universities have many schools within them. For example, Northwestern has 12 schools and colleges. There's the School of Music, the Engineering School, the College of Arts and Sciences, etc. At Northwestern, each school has a slightly different application process. When I was a senior in high school, I applied to the Music School and the College of Arts and Sciences, and I was accepted to both as a dual degree student in the five-year program. But I dropped out of the College of Arts and Sciences at the end of my first year for a few reasons. As a dual degree student, my original majors were pure math and music composition, and I was required to finish both the general ed requirements for both of my schools. Both of those schools have different general ed requirements. So for example, the College of Arts and Sciences has a language requirement that the music school does not. So I did not want to take a language or do the other general ed requirements for the College of Arts and Sciences, and I wanted to graduate in four years. I also did not really like the math program that I was in because it was very theoretical and abstract, and I wanted to be able to apply my math skills to real world problems. So I dropped out of the College of Arts and Sciences and I applied to MMSS, which is another math major at Northwestern. MMSS stands for Mathematical Methods in the Social Sciences. So it's essentially an applied math major with applications to economics. We take probability, econometrics, game theory, statistics courses, among other classes. So it's very applicable. And we're even required to take some writing classes that focus on communicating mathematical ideas formally and clearly. Fun fact, unrelated, all freshmen at Northwestern are required to take a writing course. I was able to fulfill this requirement by taking a math class because we wrote so many proofs. Okay, so back to MMSS. MMSS is actually an adjunct major, which meant that I did not have to be a Weinberg student to be part of it. Um, I could actually be a Northwestern student in any school and just fulfill the general education requirements for that school. And that was perfect for me because I was already in the music school as a music composition major. For me, the other appeal of MMSS is that students in the program are allowed to complete a senior thesis project on any topic they're interested in. So for all these reasons, I ended up dropping College of Arts and Sciences stayed in the music school and then added an adjunct major in applied math and this is the story of why i dropped out of the college of arts and sciences <laughs> do you guys like my fake eyelashes oh my god it's coming off all good